Hi guys, it's Stuart from Curious, and I'm going to show you how to assemble our Periscope kit. First, let me explain what a periscope is. A periscope is a device used to look over or around things without exposing your head or your whole body. In its simplest form, it's made of two mirrors facing each other at 45 degree angles. They've been in use for quite a long time. They were really useful during the First World War for soldiers to see out of the trenches they were fighting in without getting shot, and for being able to see out of tanks and submarines and things like that. But you know what the really crazy thing is? In the latest ultra high-tech smartphones, they're using this old technology in cameras to improve their optical zooms. Okay, so let's get started. First, it's important to notice that your mirrors have one side that is slightly shorter than the other. This is so that the mirrors fit in perfectly with the other pieces. So if you have to squash the cardboard to get the mirror to fit in, then it's probably the wrong way around. Take your cardboard cutout and separate the pieces. Put two of the L-shaped pieces on either side of your workspace and then two of the large rectangle pieces. These three pieces are slightly different in size and only fit one way, so don't force anything. Gently put them together and see if they fit. The pieces for the top of your viewfinder have two slanted bits. Hold them together so that the two diagonals face downwards. Take one of your big cardboard pieces and slot it into the side of your one L-shaped piece. That will then slot into the other side like this. Slot the other piece in on the opposite direction. Then slip an elastic around the bottom to hold it all in place. Looking at the three other pieces, take the smallest one and slot it in underneath. Now take the large piece and put it on the other side. Use another elastic band to hold them together. If you look at your viewfinder, you can see that the slit is closer to the one side. Remember what we said earlier about the mirrors? Great, so put the mirror in the right way around lifting the side slightly to get the mirror into the slits. Now take a look at your viewfinder to see if you got it right. If the mirror is the wrong way around, you'll see that there's a gap on the one side. This is why we used elastics to stick it together first and not glue. So if you made a mistake, you can fix it pretty easily. Let's put that aside and get started with step number two. We're going to take our remaining pieces, which includes the medium piece from that set and the two other identical pieces. Take your profiles and face them so that they mirror each other. And we're going to slot the bigger piece in like we did on the top viewfinder. The third section uses these four pieces. Separate the pieces and then put them back together again. Grab an elastic band and slip that on there. So now we can take all three of our pieces and slide them together. And we have a periscope. Right now it's a bit wobbly because it hasn't got the spacer and the pieces aren't glued in place. So let's do that now. So you can see I've put the coffee stirrer on the one side of this middle piece and I'm going to measure and cut it down to the right size and then I'll glue it in place. Glue everything else together. And you're done. Luckily for you, you probably won't need to use your periscope for seeing out of a trench, so you don't get shot. 
but you can still use it to see over and around objects and explore the world around you using your knowledge of the science of light and mirrors. Thanks for watching and stay curious.